Welcome back everyone. Currently it's 5.11 a.m. and I need to ship my custom made computer parts because my friend is planning on, on coming over later today in order to assemble my computer and I think he has to travel a minimum of 60 miles so I need to make sure that I have everything I need to get my computer up and running. Now in my previous video, or one of my pre previous videos, I showed you guys a case which is a Cooler Master case and if you're curious about the exact model I can write it down if you didn't watch that last video but this video may be important to you in case you want to build your own game computer and a computer that can make videos if I'm unable to make a ROI aka a return on my investment from purchasing this computer then in the future I'm never going to pursue filmmaking on a computer or gaming on a computer because it's just not a worthwhile hobby to pursue because of the expenses involved. I mean, PC gaming is a fortune, and you could have nearly the same experience on a console, although there are PC exclusives, they're not worth over $2,000, and essentially it's not worth, in my opinion, over $2,000 to pursue filmmaking if you're unable to even make, to even break even on your videos. So this is just a hobby, and it's essentially a one-shot deal. And if I'm unable to, be, get a partnership with some gaming network on YouTube or unable to make revenue from my videos and I'm never buying a computer designed for gaming and designed for filmmaking again, again and a future computer would essentially just work as a typewriter which could use basic programs such as Word, Excel, and PowerPoint but it is, this, is, this is unnecessary to buy unless you're really into filmmaking or love playing computer games, but even if you do love doing those two activities, which I love doing, it's unfortunately not worth the costs associated with it, because this reoccurring costs keep having to invest money into your computer, regardless of this double check that I have all the parts I need. Give me a second here. So, essentially a new wig I purchased all my parts for this PC, and it cost nearly $2,500 with the hardware and the software, but I'm just showing you most of the physical hardware today. And then I have more items for my computer coming in the mail, and I'll probably have to purchase more for my computer in the near future. But let me just show you guys some of the items I have in this box, which are mainly hardware components. Alright, I'm going in, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to put these back exactly how I found them. Alright. As you guys can see, I haven't used this yet. This is my Sound, Sound Pro Gold Power Supply. So I got the... I got the power supply and the case for, um... as part of a combo deal. I think this is 120 watts. I need to double check. I'm sorry. This is 1,200 watts. I guess I divided it by 10. In my head. I like how the case is gold, but I didn't buy it for the case. I bought it for the specifications. So I know I have two parts for my computer. Let me put this one back and show you guys the next one. Here's my processor for my computer. Oh, well, this is a model number and everything. So it comes in the metal case. It's an AMD 8 core. And it has 3.6 gigahertz. Of course, you can overclock it, but then you avoid the warranty. It's apparently the black edition. I wasn't aware that there were multiple editions of the homogenous product. This case is semi-protected. And then, so far, I should do this. And to recap the processor, 
power supply and processor. Let me put these back. So, and so far, I know only three parts: the power supply, the, pr the processor, and the case. And the case is too big to show with the webcam. It looks like a size of a computer because all the components we need to buy a computer are stored in the case. Give me a second here. Alright, here's my graphics card. Th this graphics card was nearly $500. This is why PC gaming is not affordable, and you constantly have to upgrade your graphics card. You want to be able to play in 1080p as a lag and record as a lag. There's also physical maintenance involved too, which means um, essentially getting compressed air and blowing away the dust. As this was on a promotion too, so I think it was on sale in addition to coming with 100 dollars worth of computer games. I didn't buy this one for um the promotion. I bought it because it was a excellent card and for what you pay you get an uh, excellent deal. In other words, you pay more for more. This card is significantly better than a $400 graphics card. Here's what it looks like, the whole case. It's the R7970 Black Edition. Virtually is an HDMI card. So we can hook up to can utilize HDMI, which is I think the worst display, but I think you could display your computer on the TV through an HDMI connection. Alright, let's move on. Here's my motherboard. I, I've never seen parts sold in the visual like this. And this is my first time, I guess you could say, building a custom made computer. So this is a new experience to me. As it may be for you. I doubt many people are watching this. If, I doubt anybody who's watching this has built their own custom made computer. I mean, if you have, then feel free to leave a comment. If you've lasted this long, if you haven't died of boredom. I mean, this would bore me if I was not into custom made computers. Alright. This is Republic of Gamers. I don't know what that is, but it sounds better than <laughs> Republic of Laggers. Alright. Let's get the other part. <coughs> Is my solid state hard drive? It's quite spectacular, as you can see. And solid state, I think you could load your computer in five seconds which is, there's no disk inside, so it already spins instantly because normal hard drives have a disk which this is nearly loads instantly it's almost as fast as the speed of light that's just a joke by the way nothing can exceed the speed of light if you're about to go faster than the speed of light you'll actually slow down
As you can see, we have the cooler master. This component is meant to keep the computer cool, which is essential if you don't want your computer to burn out. Essentially, all the heat is, I think, transferred to the heat sink in one area, so it makes it easy for the computer to cool itself off as if all the heat is compressed in one area as opposed to disperse throughout the computer. Plus, I have a fan in this room and an air conditioner, which and help with the maintenance, and I plan on physically opening the case to blow off the dust too, which could help reduce the uh, heat and the strain on the computer. This was wrapped in bubble wrap, I'm not sure what's in here. Possibly wires on my second hard drive. I need some wires to connect everything. I'm unsure what the exact names are, I could research them later and find out. I'd have to look them up. But this is bubble wrap, so I'm not going to open it until my friend comes and risk damaging it, because I'm putting it back inside the package. Here's my HTP VR Gaming Edition. Comes as like, gaming component cables. This is the most recent mono. Here's the back. It's great that it... I don't need to buy additional splitters for this, which should be additional expenses. Alright, hold on. Coupon allows me to get these three games. This is problematic. I already have um, DSXs. Dirt Shadow I really don't care about. It's just a, probably another generic racing game. And Nexus is. It looks like Nexus, but it's got an I in there for the Z, so. Nexus is, or however you, you pronounce it. Looks like another generic FPS I'm not really into. PC FPS so far. I have yet to, for my gaming mouse to arrive, which should arrive within the week. But um, th there's more components in there. I'm not going to take everything out and risk damaging it further. I just showed you what was inside the boxes. I don't want to remove the cardboard or remove the bubble wrap. I, I know manually check myself to make sure I have everything, but it seems as though just by looking at it, what I have inside the box, I know you can't see, I know I didn't show you everything, but it looks as though I have everything, if not nearly everything. I doubt I'm missing anything there. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you have any questions about the specific parts, then leave a comment and then inform you exactly what I got in case you want to copy my exact build for your gaming needs. My computer was designed to play video games in 1080p without lag and record video games in 1080p without lag as well as be able to edit videos without lag and you may say it's overkill but it does give me some leeway for the future in other words I will not need to have to in invest and upgrade in the computer right away because I have the essentially the, la the latest technology 
and some of the better technology for my computer, so maybe in two years I'll need to add a second graphics card, but for now this will suffice and be able to satisfy my filmmaking and gaming needs. Thanks for watching. I'm signing out, and I'll see you guys later. Have a good day. Goodbye.